I built up walls like mansions to the sky Protect my heart so it would survive But you climbed in like no one else could do The day I knew I needed you I was complicated Sagis, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading over here. Sorry, let me just put myself together. Okay. How are you? Is your daily? So this is, uh, you know, I used to do this, if you know my channel, way, way back. Um, it does drain me a lot to put massive videos out there. So it may stick or not. We'll just see. Okay. And my videos are also very, very short, beyond short, very, okay? So don't expect like we're gonna sit here for 45 minutes on the same topic if you guys are gonna be together. Truth and facts, right? That's the only thing that people wanna know anyway. Why we gotta know it other things, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I know you guys, you don't wanna waste your time anyway. Mm -hmm. So let's see, other people likes to have like some sort of like storytelling of sort, I don't understand. Get, let's get down to business, right? Mm. So, business, <laughs> um, speaking of business, um, I will be, this is the last time you guys are gonna get, uh, will be able to get the bracelet that I use. This is Lepridicite, uh, Mermaid, and uh, Black Agape. So do check it out. I'll put it in the comments. And I'm using the spheres for today is uh, the Obsidian. This is for cutting off um, certain energies that uh, so that we can align ourselves and heal. Okay. So that's that. Let me just move this here. Okay. So that's that. Now let's see what's going on. This is you and the person. In the extended, it's the same thing. It's going to be you and the person. But with what does the tarot has to say in the universe-wise? Um, you know, possible foreseeable future between the two of you. If it's going to work or not. We're starting. You got a death card. Okay. I'll see you. So you really don't want to waste time. You want to change things. This is a Scorpio card. It's death and rebirth. Every time there's an ending, there's a beginning. There's duality in life, right? Mm -hmm. Everything is dual. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is like the yin and yang. Look, there's a dark side over here. The monitor is here. Just to give you guys a heads up. So I know if the cards is focus. Okay. Yeah. So... Um, this is the new beginning that you want. This is what you want to end. Okay. This is what you want to end now. You're saying here, it's like, I want things to change, to transform. This is the um, Lady of the Dead, right? La Muerta. I have it here. Okay. Because it's for me, it's, like, it's not something scary. Um, embracing changes in life is what you're doing also. Um, and walking away, Sanj. I'm walking away downtown. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's making my way downtown. Mm -hmm. Let's not go downtown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Eight of Cups with the Death Card. So, the Sag is pulling back their energy. They want things to end and walking away. Um, and they're not in the mood to talk. Okay. <laughs> that's why I don't advise cross-watching here. So, High Priestess. Um, you're shutting the situation down. You're keeping things to yourself with regards to what you're manifesting in life. You do know that's how manifestation work. You do not say what you're going to wish for. Because other people, it's, you know, let's just say friends, family, okay, um, had some sort of evil eye, okay, where they get jealous. So they can dampen the energy of what you're manifesting, you know. So you can share it to people who you trust, okay. But even that. Because then you just add some sort of doubt to the to the manifestation. So that's what a high priestess is very quiet quiet with what she's manifesting. Because if you know better, you don't say you don't tell people what you want. Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, because you don't know what the real intention is. For example, right? And let's just say you want healing, but that person's like, hmm. I remember in grade school you didn't help me with my assignment, so I don't want you to heal. 
You understand me? So um, if you don't know, if you know, if you feel like that the person is not coming from light, never, never tell you know the person um, what you're manifesting. Okay, especially here you're manifesting healing and transformation and a new love. With the Ten of Cups, the World card, and then the King of Pentacles, you want to be your own boss. Also, you want to um, have uh, what do you call this? You want your life to be more meaningful. King of Pentacles and the World card. So you're cutting off cords because you want to find real love and real connection. Okay, so let's see what the other person has to say over here. Okay. Oh, Page of Wands, I already saw it. Okay, so one, they want to talk to you. They still have some chemistry. Okay. Um, they still have, uh, how to say this? Um, the Page of Wands is like, okay, I'm attracted to you. I want I want to get to know you. Um, of course, there's the whole, you know, being thirsty as a Page of Wands because it's phallic. Um, but they are not revealing everything anyway to you. Because look at that. She looks like she's just coming out of the darkness. So this person has been keeping stuff, definitely. Okay, look at that. It's a hooded bandit over here. No, it's a king of swords. But he's uh, covering himself with a hoodie, looks like it, or a cloak, sorry. They don't have hoodie back in the time we are wizards. Or it's a cloak. Okay. So, uh, with the king of swords, definitely trying to conceal themselves from you. Um, because they don't want you to feel that you have the upper hand because they're about to break down on their knees and ask for mercy from you. This is my Jon Snow card. Look at it. He looks like Jon Snow. Okay. And then, you know, he's begging, don't cut me off in your life. And it looks like Daenerys also. So you might be the dragon. Okay. Because you ain't gonna accept this. Ace of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. They do have um, this. Uh, um, this is a message, but it's frozen. This is Ace of Swords, so communication. Let's just say they're formulating what they're gonna text you, what they're, you know, it's like what it's all about. Oh, I wanna text a Sag this, da da da. They put that on hold. An apology on hold, begging on hold. Everything is on hold with this person. Must be a receptionist. Please hold. Mm -hmm. You got a nine of caps. Okay, because I feel like they want to play a game of like you know you want me you know you want me and you're telling yourself here that i have learned from this connection that you always do this so i'm done because <laughs> that's the world card um you're closing your eyes you're keeping yourself um silent over here and then it looks like you really don't get affected by them anymore because the nine of cups she looks like she's seducing the person by let's just say oh i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna show you sag i'm doing this amazing things yeah the sag is not looking even because so someone is trying to get your attention but not the right way they're trying to show that they have the trump card and that you know it's like no matter what you do or you're ending this is this doesn't affect me i'm good i'm good this is what this energy is saying all right so i'm gonna continue this reading guys you get scorpio taurus First, the Scorpio that's a foreign land, foreign country as always. You got Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra over here, and a Taurus also is here. Capricorn here. All right. So those are all I can see. In the extended, I gather all the cards, put, uh, you know, shuffle again and put all this, uh, you and this person. And then I shuffle again and uh, I read for what the universe has to tell you in this connection. All right. So uh, for everybody who's interested and who resonated, click in the description box for the extended reading and every night I do upload what is called a personal reading with Sal which only means that you just send out the energy and if that video resonates with you then consider that as close to getting a personal reading with me so thank you very much and have a wonderful wonderful day bye hi guys a lot of people ask me how I stay on schedule that's a big thing because i do a lot of things especially just like you i use a specific app for that now it's not just any kind of app it's available in ios and android but this app shows planetary schedule so it's not just a regular scheduler it aligns you it's called Align 27. Now, I'll show it to you there on your screen. You can see it there. It says Green Day. Not the band. 
So if you see here, if you read more, you click the read more, it will tell you what is the day about? What are the things that you can and cannot do? Big decisions, especially if you own a business, you're going to school, you have um, some sort of uh, work that you have a deadline. This is very, very powerful for that because it gives you the schedule. Now, it also gives you personal details of the planet and how it is affecting you. If you can see here, it says upcoming transit. You will see everything on a personal level on your chart. I already put my chart here. So that's why it says there, John Doe. I'm going to be looking at Venus for now. It's going to give me my own personal reading for Venus. The first part up there that you are seeing, that's for you. And then it's going to give you all the helpful information as far as the transit for the whole period of time that Venus is going to be in that specific house. All this and more. This is the first part. So I'm just letting you know it gets more exciting. Make sure you click in the description box my affiliate link. And together we can plan ahead.